Hey, good morning, everybody. Today is August the 27th of 2020. And I wanted to come and have a little chat with you about the crushed spirit. Okay, um, so there's a lot of people out here now. The, the, the more time goes by, the more channels are coming out with dates for a rapture, okay? And I want to ask you about what do you think that costs the people who are brand new Christians, okay, who this is all brand new to them and all this hype about, okay, the rapture is going to happen then, the rapture is going to happen this day, that time, you know, uh, da-da-da-da-da, this feast, this this particular holiday, da-da-da. Listen, there's a price to pay for all of this, okay, and who's paying the price? Okay, we have a lot of new Christians that, that don't have, um, you know, they're on milk at this time. They're not even on the meat. They're on the milk. And they're getting all wrapped up in this rapture date. And everybody's pushing this rapture date stuff as the blessed hope. And that is not our blessed hope. I'm here to tell you. What is our blessed hope? Jesus Christ is our blessed hope. Listen. Who told you, I gotta, I'm gonna move over on my swing a different way so I'm more comfortable. Okay, so who told you guys, who told any of you that the blessed hope was the rapture? Hmm? Our blessed hope is Jesus Christ. That's because nobody said that you get to finish this day out. Who told you that? You know, God could want to just take you home today. Today could be your very last day being here. Okay? You're not promised the next five seconds. So if that's the case, you wouldn't have lived long enough to be raptured out, right? So in that case, it better be that Jesus Christ is your blessed hope, not the rapture. Okay, that's my point. My point of this video is um, there's a lot of false prophets out there. When people go and they say that, okay, God has led me to this date. They've led me to this date. They've got all these big, huge charts and, um, sorry for moving around the phone so much. I just want to be comfortable. Okay. So they have all these charts and all this deep knowledge and facts that they say the Lord's led them to. And, oh, and it's pointing to this time and it's pointing to that time and blah, 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 blah. And they've, and they've had to, um, re-circumvent their facts several times because all the dates that they're giving, they, they come and they go and we're still here. Right? So. A lot of you that have been doing this a while, you can you can persevere, you know, you kind of can get through this, you know. But what about the new babies? What about the ones that are on milk and don't know no better, right? It's not fair to them. So when you're setting these rapture dates and they come and they go in this time, and then you come up with a little casual excuse of, oh, well, you know, you know, God, God was showing me these things, but there's something I just must have got wrong. I just must have got it wrong. So now you've come up with a new date. Listen, all you're doing is you're lying. Because if you've said that the Lord has told you and led you to a certain date and then it didn't happen, you were not hearing from God because God doesn't lie. Okay. Now, it's very possible when we're, you know, God's trying to talk to us or teach us something. It's very possible that we can mess it up in our mind. We can put our own carnal thoughts to it and come up with something else and, and misconstrue something that God's trying to teach us. But best know this. God is not trying to teach us of a rapture date. Okay? He is not trying to teach us that at all. So what he does try to teach us is in, in his word, in his word, that the blessed hope is Jesus Christ. It's got these big semis going by, so excuse the noise. Okay, so my message today is about the price of the crushed spirit, right? And false prophets. And you've got a lot of people out here who are tricking people just by their demeanor, just by their presence on the YouTube channel. By their tone of voice, you've got a lot. I, 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 there's a lot of women, okay? Let's just talk about those women. They come on and their voices are just sing-songy. They got these little song to their voice and they got such a soft little voice and they're bleed da 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 And they lure people in with that, okay? That's what they do. They lure people in. There's a train coming, so I'm going to pause this till it passes. Okay, 
So they try to lure people in. And they've got a couple different reasons why they do this. Now, that you've got some of these people that come on, and most of the, the common denominator I have found with all of these channels is they are once saved, always saved. Now, a lot of people, they're not going to want to hear this because for two re one or two reasons. One, they just, because they don't, because they believe in once saved, always saved, so they're not going to want to hear against it. And the other thing is, another person could say, well, it doesn't matter. I wish people would stop talking about it. Well, I'm here to tell you today, it does matter. The once saved, always saved is a false doctrine from the pits of hell, and it is a salvation issue because it has a direct reflection on how it is you live your life. Do you live your life for Christ or do you live your life for yourself and how you choose? Because it doesn't matter. You're saved. You can do what you want, right? So a lot of these channels uh, that I might give reference to now are all once saved, always saved. Um, now I have, uh, you know, you, you okay, first, another thing is you've got these channels out here and they're, they're date setters. And then you've got some who add another element to it. They're not only date setters. They always, they also grab your money, okay? They lure you into giving you money, give, uh, you giving them money. Like now, this one particular channel I'm going to mention right now, she's not once saved, always saved. That's why I'm so surprised at what she has started doing. And she just started doing this over the past few months. She's been around for a long time. I can't believe she sold herself out because that's what she's done. She started monetizing her channel. You've got a 12 minute video, but within that video content, there's three ads that run three ads. Like really how greedy you got to be. And don't tell me you don't make money off of it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it at all. Um, because and you know what? These ads are mostly beer commercials, beer commercials. Now you can't really pick and choose what ads go on your channel. I guess that's what I hear. But how many recovering alcoholics watch your channel? They don't want anything to do with alcohol, but yet you're pushing it in their face because you chose to monetize your channel. And you do make money because you have a PayPal account, you have a Patreon account, and then at the end of every one of your videos, you say, oh, thank you kindly for all of your gifts and your financial donations to this channel. Listen, it costs nothing to have your channel, for you to run your channel. You have a phone. You make your videos with a phone just like I do. I spend $50 a month to pay my phone bill and I can make my content. Whatever it is the Lord leads me to say on this phone for this channel, that's how I do it. It costs me $50 a month. I pay that, right? But you, 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 you have PayPal, Patreon, and you're always pushing it at the very end. Oh, thank you so much for your gifts, your do donations for the channel. It's so much appreciated, and I just appreciate it so much. Thank you so kindly, da 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 da, da which is a sneaky way of also getting people to contribute, right? Because you'll sometimes you'll even mention their name. Oh, thank you so much for giving me this and that. You know, it's like, it's, it's a joke. You have a phone just like me. It, there's no cost associated to running your channel. So you're deceiving people and merchandising the word of God. Okay. Then you've got this other lady. She's had her channel for 10 years. And, and then you just come out like you had a little temper tantrum the other day. I've been doing this for 10 years and I've only gotten $800 from you guys. You've only guys have only given me $800 in 10 years. I quit. And then you come back a few days later. <laughs> You come back a few days later and you say, well, could you guys humbly, I humbly ask, could you guys at least cover at least half the cost, half the cost of the, running this channel? Listen, it don't cost nothing to run your channel. You have a computer, okay, which costs a internet connection. That's, you don't do nothing special. You put up content and plus you give a lot of rapture dates, a lot of rapture times, which you've been wrong on, Okay. So, you, and you claim it's taken you 10 years for God to lead you to this new rapture date you've got. So, okay, whatever. Then you've got this, uh, and most of these women, they're very soft-spoken and gentle voice and stuff. And, you know, it's just really like this. Because they lure you in. They know exactly how to lure you in. Um, 
And then not to mention, we got our, our big fish. I mean, she just really got a lot of y'all. And I hope not many from this channel, but she's got a lot of people because she asked $5,000 for her mother for a car. $5,000 is all she asked for. She ended up getting almost $30,000, almost right at $30,000. The car that she ended up buying her mother was a $17,000 car. What happened to the extra money? Because she said, she said that all of the money was going to be given towards her mom's car. All of it would be put towards the mother's car. All of it. She didn't say some of it, part of it. She said all of it. So she's $10,000 over what cost the car. So where's that money, number one? And number two is you only asked for five. So when it reached five, why didn't you go ahead and end the PayPal account? Right? I'm calling you out on it. You know exactly who you are. I had to remake this video because I actually called out your name and I said something else. But I have to watch my mouth and I have to filter my thoughts and the things I say, you know, because, you know, sometimes the flesh wants to take over, right? So I can't allow that to happen. So anyway, these, these people who are merchandising God's word, these people who are rapture date setting and saying that God led them to this date and it's come and gone and then they very uh, nonchalantly just switched to a new date. Oh, I guess I was wrong. Okay, okay, so now God's leading me to this date. Come on. Listen, it crushes people's spirits. And let me just give you a little example of my spirit that I got crushed myself by my own doing back September 17th of 2000. Uh, uh, no, September 23rd, 2017. I was like, on that day, I just knew we were going to get raptured. Now, at this time, I was not watching YouTube channels like that. I didn't know about watching these channels. And I don't, really think I, I don't even think I had started mine yet. I, I'm not sure. I, I don't know, so I can't say for sure. But on that day, I knew that I was going to get raptured out of here. I just knew it. And so all day, it, um, I sat there waiting. And I can equivalent it to this. It's like a little child who is sitting there waiting for their parent for, on visitation weekend, like their dad to come pick them up for visitation weekend. So I was like this little kid sitting at the window all day long, waiting, waiting, waiting. And I never walked away from the window all day. And the next day I'm still at the window and I didn't go nowhere. I was crushed, but God is not the one who crushed my spirit. I crushed my spirit. I allowed that to happen to me because I was misinterpreting the, 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 the Bible wrong, the scripture wrong that I was reading. I was reading it wrong. I read too much into it. My mind, I let my mind you know, lead me along a path that God never told me that was going to happen, right? So anyway, there's a price for crushing people's spirits. And you channels, I'm, I'm basically directing this out to people who have other channels, and I don't know how many people are going to even see this, but it's on, I just really want to say that what I'm saying today. And if you're supporting channels that are out there um, giving rapture dates and doing this kind of stuff, and you think there's no harm done to it, you... It, it is harming people. It may not harm you. Maybe you're strong enough to take it. But there's people out here on milk. They're not on the meat yet. They don't, they don't understand that Jesus Christ is the blessed hope, not the rapture. Okay? So try to come away from those channels. Don't support those channels. And um, try to uplift people. If you've seen people that have been crushed in spirit because somebody set a rapture date that didn't happen, just encourage them. Uplift them. Let them know that the rapture is not the blessed hope. It's Jesus Christ is the blessed hope. Okay? So I hope that you all receive this message in the, in, the, in the way that I intended it to come across with love and care, compassion for all of you, and for your spirits. Because I don't want to see anybody get crushed. And I want all those other channels that are out there misguiding people, lying to people, saying they're hearing from God, that God led them along this path to give you dates when, when he did not. Uh, I, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you come away from that, that you repent and you come away, all right, in the name of Jesus Christ. And please, another thing I want to mention, if, if you go to a channel and they have more than 1,000 subscribers, Go to their community page. Go, you go to their home, their home page on the YouTube and you scroll over to where it says community. 
click on that and look because a lot of times they'll have a content on the community post. And I noticed like even on mine, a lot of people don't see my community post. Maybe they don't even know it's there. I don't know. So just, I'm just letting you know, just in case, uh, cause sometimes we don't feel like making a video. We just want to make a comment or, uh, or share another person's content very quickly without having to come do a video. So we'll put it on a community post. Okay. So I hope today finds you in a great, great spirits. And I hope that the Father has renewed your spirit today. Go into prayer to him and just stay in communication with him. All right? Because that's where it's at. And Jesus Christ is our blessed hope. God bless you. Goodbye.